Hey traders, this is Jeff from Zen Trader. Uh, I'm gonna create one video now, and then I've got some things to do, and then I'll probably have another video update uh, later on this evening. Uh, let's start off. Uh, I'm very bearish on the markets right now. All of my proprietary charts are indicating that this pullback that we are starting to see is going to materialize into a more extended pullback. Uh, the market so far is doing exactly what it needs to do. It broke down from this head and shoulders pattern here. This is a NASDAQ chart I'm looking at. We got a sell signal here. Uh, I believe that's the 11th. I'm not regardless. Uh, I added to my position here it found resistance right at the neckline and sold off into the close. Uh, I don't really know what else more to say in terms of the leaders. Apple broke down on Friday, but still has so much uh, room to fall, as do some of the other leaders like Priceline, CMG. Sentiment, in my opinion, is still bullish. Uh, so that's a good thing. When you look at the VIX, uh, we're start volatility is starting to pick up, and you can see here that we have been in an extended period of lo very low volatility for pretty much all of this year. It's starting to turn up, but we're nowhere near this zone up here and and above is when y you look at the market and you say, okay, there's a lot of fear in the market. Uh, we're nowhere near that. Uh, traders are still quite complacent. I think traders are starting to, or not starting, I think that they're still buying the dips, and I think that they're going to get trapped in some of these positions here. When you look at the Dow, uh, I drew this trend line, or rather this channel that it's it's been taking, but I also drew this alternate view just in the event that, you know, maybe this is a... Uh, falling bullish wedge. Either way, both of these have this heading down to about 12,650, 12,600 level, which is only a couple hundred points drop on the on the Dow. And then we'll see. Hopefully, we'll have some better clues in terms of what the market wants to do when it gets down there. Um, that, there was something else I wanted to talk about. You know, essentially, I think at a minimum. We're going to go down here to, you know, and, and depending how how long, uh, how many days this kind of sits around and goes down, it will extend this channel down. But, you know, we're looking at maybe, a, you know, at least a, a minimum 60 point drop, even if this is just a normal correction. What I'm seeing, I think this is going to be, I, uh, I think we're going to see a period where the sell in May might actually apply. I'm not one for, uh, these kind of little sayings because sell in May and go away you can't just do that every year there's there's you know markets are dynamic they're always changing but uh, it might actually apply this year on the TSX uh, we have a bearish head and shoulders pattern again rejected right at the neckline uh, accelerated into the close on Friday I'm sure that there's a lot of people looking at their morning papers on Saturday morning and we're probably starting to see a lot of stocks break down. Uh, minimum target is this this area for this in my opinion. So this is the measured move of the head and shoulders measured from the top of the head to the neckline uh, down to here and then this is also a target these previous lows in December so somewhere between 11.7 and 11.5 this has been my target for a while now uh, and I was fairly confident that when I opened my short here at the beginning of March I actually added to it here trimmed those that I added and then added them back here uh, I've been pretty vocal on Twitter about my general feelings of bearishness about the TSX uh, real quick Percentage of stocks above their 50-day moving average has been falling, and generally, once it falls past this midway point, the bottom is a magnet, so it'll probably work its way down here. Other than that, I'll have another video uh, later this evening.